So people have asked about creating different colored text in Create Studio, and it's not done natively, but there are four different ways. Um, there's maybe more, but I can show you four different ways to do this. So for a really simple way, let's just get some text and write text. And this is just the default. I'm going to make it bigger so that we can see the letters. You can make it as big or as small as you want. A quick way of doing that is going to backgrounds or you can choose um, anything that you also want to bring in or find. But I used um, that one here in the word text. You can see that it's changing colors. So here I have a different color. So I'm just going to drag and drop that here. I'm going to reduce it a little bit so I can get more of the colors in there and it's not just all caught in the um, light green or the blue. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to select the text and the video, right click and mask the video with the text. And now you can have the text in the, I'm sorry, the video in the text. That's one quick way. And if you actually have a lighter background, I'm going to leave it at the darker right now, but let me just put a tri uh, rectangle behind this to white. And let me just expand it. You could also take this text, select it, you could add a shadow, which would add a little bit of dimension to that. And then you could play that. The shadow just wouldn't have shown in with the black background. So that is one way you can text that with any kind of um, video file that you have. We have all of these to choose from, and then you can check in some of the other assets or bring in your own. Another way, which is a very simple way as well, is let it, again, let's just take a text. I'm going to write text. I'm going to make it bigger. I'm just taking a, a smaller word than I had before. Then I'm just going to take a yeah, rectangle. I'm going to put it behind the text. And then I'm just going to select the color. And I can make any kind of gradient I want. So I can have the color, let me just move this over so you can see a little bit. So maybe we have some red and on the side we'll have more blue. I can add some pink. I can add some yellow. So I can have a whole, but I can make whatever color I want. I can make this just don't want that covering it, but it's going to cover it again when I click color. I can also move these so it's more diagonal. You can do whatever you want. You can make it a circular. If you want to have your colors go like that, you can do that. And again, you're just going to select both of them and then mask the text, whoops. You're gonna mask the rounded with the, the rounded rectangle with the colors. And then you have your colors. Then if you find that you want to just move it around to see if there's other colors, you, I forgot to detach the mask, you can move it so now I get some of the blue. So you can move it around and you can check whatever colors you want. But once you want to move it again, you're going to make sure you attach the mask again. So we have masking of the video, masking of a background with different colors. And then what we have, so we just did this one and this one, this and this one. So let me show you this one. Here, I'm again going to grab a text box. 
make this a little bit more wordy. I'm just going to make it larger so we see it. Now here, it's not going to change all of the color. It's not going to change each letter to be a different color. But what you can do is you can animate. And let me just make this longer so that we can see it a little bit longer. You can animate the colors of this by adding an animation and fill right here. And then I'm just going to go to linear. In mine, I did it by the letter just to kind of play around with it. I haven't actually done this in, this, in the way that I'm showing you here to change the colors, but I have done it to change colors and shapes. And I'll show you another way to change the colors here. So let's say I'm going to be on the first keyframe. Let's say I want to start with some orange. And by the end, I want it to be pink. Now watch what happens. It's going to change. And here you can see that it's changing by the color. I mean, sorry, by the letter and not just all of them together. If I wanted them to all change together, I could do it by the word. And here you see text change before here, or you can just change the whole selection at the same time. I chose by the letter thinking it would be the closest to changing each colored letter, but you're not gonna get it exactly that way. But here you go, so that would change that. The other thing that I did, I'm gonna click in between the keyframes again. So this is how this will open up. If I wanna see the panel, I can click in between. I also can go to properties and I can change the border in the same way that I changed the color of the letters. Here, the fill. I'm gonna start at the beginning and let's say I'm going to start with a white border. Oh, I'm going to do Command C because I stupidly changed the color of the text and not the border because sometimes you can change it there. So I'm going to change the border to white and let's give it a border of four. Then I can go to the end and maybe at the end, I want the border to be, I don't know what would go with pink to show off. Let's, that would show up. And I'm going to put it at the same weight. So let's see what happens. You should see the color and the border changing colors. There we go. So that's another way that you could do that. And again, you can change it by letter, word, sentence. You can make it go in reverse or random. So you can just play around with all of those different settings. Here you can say it, see it's going in reverse. Say we want it to be random. I don't even know what this is going to look like. Let's see. Huh? That's actually kind of cool. You're actually seeing more of the colors changing and it is doing it for the, the border as well, because this is white, this is a paler green, and that's a brighter green. This is, so actually, that's kind of cool. I might have to try that sometime. So that's your other method. Now, the last method is going to be a little bit more time consuming than what I just showed you. So I am definitely going to only use four letters, text, and I'm going to make it bigger. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this my model. Then I'm going to make four copies. So right here, I'm just using Command D and I'm gonna make this my M, I'm sorry, my T for text, the first T. Then I'm gonna have one for E, et cetera. So let's do these first two. I am going to lock this model. So I have the text 
but I can't move it. So now it's there. Then I'm going to take the copy that I made. I'm going to delete everything but the T. And the reason I have my model is so I can place it back where I need it to go and it will be the right spacing. Then I can change it to whatever color I want. I'm going to do the same thing for the E. Here I'm going to delete the X and the T and the first T. It might be easier if I change the color before I did all of that. So let's make that. I'm just going to delete, uh, duplicate this. I'm going to change. This is going to be the X. I'm going to change it to, I don't know, green. I'm going to make it an X and then I can put it on here. And my E is not quite where it should be. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my last T. And let's just make that whatever color I choose and place it here. Then what you're going to do is then you can, I'm going to unlock this so I can then, I'm going to keep it there in case I want to add letters or do anything. But if I put it down, the opacity down to zero, we, will we won't see that in our project. See, I put it down to zero, but if I need it again, I can just pump it up again so I can do that. So I'm going to lock that so I don't ever move it. And here I have different colors. So of course that's going to take a little longer because you have to go in for each letter. But if you want a much more separated version of the colors, that would be worth your time. And you can always make a sample of it and then you would be able to save it to your scenes and then just change the letters. So that would be a recommendation I have if you choose to want to reuse colored letters more often. So just as a reminder, what you would do is select them all. I would want to unlock this so I had that too, but I'm not gonna do that for time's sake. I would select them all, group them, right click and you can save to your scenes and then you won't have to go through the separate colors and then you could always just go right in here and change the colors as you want them to be. I'm clearly just making kind of ugly colors here but I don't want to spend time to do this and you can do your own. I also have a tutorial on how you can set up your um, easy property edits. Well, you actually don't want to do that on here because you don't want to change them all to the same color. So I do have that, but see what this would do is change it. So when you change one, it would change all of them, which is not what you want to do if you are making colored letters, but it is 1 a.m. So I clearly wasn't making as much sense and I don't think so well at this time. But there's your four different ways that you can create color text in Create Studio. Have fun!